Hello and welcome to The Update. I'm Heidi Tiltons. There's a visible hole in the engine of a Qantas plane which has landed safely at Sydney Airport after issuing a mayday call on a flight from Auckland. A massive contingent of emergency vehicles were on the tarmac to greet the 737 after pilots radioed ahead that they'd lost power to one of the engines. Passengers reported hearing a bang and feeling a jolt midway through the flight. The opposition leader says Australians shouldn't vote for an Indigenous voice to Parliament if the Prime Minister can't explain it. Peter Dutton is again claiming there's not enough detail about the advisory body and he says Anthony Albanese should explain exactly how the voice will work. There are options in the report, so we don't even know what the Prime Minister is talking about and the Prime Minister doesn't know what he's talking about either. So it's no wonder Australians are confused and if Anthony Albanese can't explain it to you, why would you vote for it? The Prime Minister isn't ruling out more military support for Ukraine. Up to 70 Australian Defence Force personnel will help train Ukrainian recruits to defend against Russia, but some defence experts believe we should also send tanks to assist the war effort. Vaccine advisory group Atagi is apparently considering whether Aussies need a fifth dose of the COVID jab in the lead up to winter. Infection rates are beginning to slow again after the latest wave, with an average of 6,500 daily cases recorded recorded Australia-wide this month, down from 15,000 in December. A Melbourne court has heard an argument over the use of a drone may have led to the murder of two secret lovers in Victoria's Alpine region. Ex-Jet Star pilot Greg Lynn is accused of shooting Carol Clay and stabbing her lover Russell Hill before torching their remains. A major Queensland highway has reopened more than two days after it was cut, leaving dozens of motorists stranded. The Bruce Highway back up and running following heavy rainfalls in the area. It's as Sydney's CBD has reached 30 degrees for the first time in more than 300 days. A trial has begun over whether Elon Musk committed fraud with a tweet in 2018 saying he was poised to take Tesla private. Shareholders sued Musk for allegedly costing them billions of dollars. And we'll soon be able to see where notorious criminals Ned Kelly and Mark Chopper Reed spent time behind bars. Tours of the notorious H Division at Melbourne's Pentridge Prison will be a new tourist attraction as part of a $1 billion redevelopment of the former site. In sport, Ash Barty and Yvonne gulligan Corley have launched an inaugural First Nations Day at the Australian Open. Australia has won the second women's one-day international against Pakistan following another standout performance from newcomer Phoebe Litchfield. The 19-year-old has only played two games but has become the first Australian woman to start her ODI career with back-to-back 50s. And Dave Rennie is thanking players, coaches and staff for their support after he was sacked from the Wallabies. Rennie says he was disappointed to be let go of ahead of the World Cup in France. In entertainment news, Selena Gomez has revealed the latest iconic actor to join her popular show Only Murders in the Building. Meryl Streep signing on with the rest of the cast for season three. A string of celebrities have come down with COVID after the Golden Globes. Colin Farrell, Brendan Gleeson, Jamie Lee Curtis and Michelle Pfeiffer all contracted the virus. And Brad Pitt has reportedly put his LA compound on the market for close to $40 million as he looks for something a little smaller following his messy divorce from Angelina Jolie. The property boasts 1.9 acres, a skateboard park, a swimming pool and a tennis pavilion. And that's the latest from the Nova Podcast News team. But we'll see you tomorrow morning for another episode of The Update.